our program tonight, we are beaming our searchlights on the outbreak of dengue fever in parts of the country. It's announced by the Nigeria Center for D Disease Control and Prevention, NCDC. The NCDC had announced that 71 suspected cases of dengue fever have been cited in three local government uh, areas in Sokoto states. The agency's uh, report said 13 cases have been confirmed with neither severe cases nor deaths recorded so far. At the moment, Sokoto is the only state with the disease. The disease has caused significant concern within the community and beyond, hence prompting urgent discussions on its impact, measures to be taken, as well as strategies that aims at safeguarding the health and well-being of citizens. I will be joined by a health uh, expert to discuss the outbreak of dengue fever in, in Sokoto, measures to take and how to safeguard lives of the people. Thanks for joining us. I am Vicaria Clinton. Welcome to Nigeria Today. Joining me tonight to discuss the outbreak of dengue fever is uh, Dr. Isaac Ibuja, a public health specialist. Glad to have you once again on Nigeria today. My pleasure. Good evening. Good evening, yes. Uh, no, uh, uh, Doc, I will just go straight to the point. Go what ahead. is what exactly is dengue fever? Because there have been a lot of uh, conflicting explanations from here and there. You know. So, what is dengue fever? Dengue fever is a type of fever caused by a virus that is normally carried by a type of mosquito, not all types of mosquito, a particular type of mosquito. And even within that particular type of mosquito, the female ones are the ones that are more likely to carry, but both, both male and female of that particular species of mosquito carry the virus. And that species of mosquito is called Aedes aegypti. There are many types. You don't have to worry about them. The only thing is to know that it's carried by mosquito. Occasionally, animals that are affected can also affect human beings. In other words, if that mosquito bites an animal, and another mo uh, the same mosquito, another mosquito of the same type, mm. bites that animal, carries the blood, and bites a human being, they can transmit the, uh, the virus into the person. Mm -hmm. But it is a viral disease, it's caused by a virus, and uh, the patient would usually have fever, joint pains, muscle aches, um, uh, sometimes bleeding when it is very serious. The, person, the, the patient will sweat a lot, may, may vomit. Uh, not all patients would have all the symptoms, but the key uh, cardinal si symptoms are fever. Mm. That, 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 that is uh, a certainty. And the muscle and body aches your joints are aching, you are you, as if somebody has beaten you, I mean, you, you'll be restless. Very severe pains, mm. as if you're having cramps. And um, when it is very serious, the person can also start bleeding uh, from the nose, from the gums, from the ears, and so on. Patients that are um, suffering from dengue fever usually have very high fever, and therefore they become dehydrated very quickly because they, they are losing water through sweating. And one of the things that uh, medical people use to know, like if you are in Sokoto now, if they are suspecting, one of the things that they would look forward to or look at and say, this might be, this might be, there has to be a lab test to confirm. Okay. But one of the things to look at that would be a prime, that make a person a, a prime suspect is when the fever is spiraling up. You start in the morning, you have fever, by afternoon the fever is going up, 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 and the patient's, the patient's condition is getting worse. Mm -hmm. That is dengue fever. Mm -hmm. There are very good news about the disease. One, it is not too common. Two, it is uh, self-limiting, or it can be resolved very easily. Within five to seven days it can go. Three, the treatment is very easy. Ordinary food, ordinary foods can cure, and plenty of water can cure it. 
simple medication can cure it. Um, four, Aedes aegypti mosquito, the one that carries the virus, is not too common. And the disease is usually in the full or subtropical areas, like Nigeria is a full tropical area. Um, African countries, largely, uh, full tropical. There are uh, some countries that are subtropical. In other words, they have hot weather, hot uh, summer, and also cold uh, winter. Okay. Uh, those kinds of places would, might, might also have a, a Aedes aegypti species of mosquito that carries this uh, virus. The bad news, or another good news about the, uh, the, the disease mm -hmm. is that if you, there are four types of, uh, four species of this Aedes aegypti mosquito, four species. If you are beaten by one, say type A or one, and it carries the virus and infects you and you recover, it comes again and bites you, carries the virus to you again, that same type, chances are that you would not um, be affected as seriously in terms of severity of the, of the case. But it, you, would also, you could also fall sick very easily and more severely. That type A that beat you, that gave you the virus, if um, it goes and bites somebody, or, or type B goes and bites that same person that was beaten by type A, mm. Chances that this person would become seriously sick is less. No. That is, is the same Aedes mosquito, but different types. Okay. And there are about four species of it. So the, 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 the bad news is that unlike other, other, viral, other virus, viral diseases, that when once you have it once, uh, you, you will become immune to it. To it. Mm. This one doesn't really. Uh, There's no immunity. No, not not very often. Okay. Not very often, and because of the different species of the same Aedes uh, mosquito that I talked about. Now, you you talked a lot about the dengue uh, fever. Now, can it be passed from? You, you talked about from mosquito now. You know. Beat it, that you know, uh, maybe attack somebody. So, from in someone, from in, in a person to another person, is it possible? No. Okay. No, if I have it, yes, I cannot pass it to you. Except there's a the, mosquito bite. The only way I can pass it to you is if that mosquito bites me, okay, carries my blood mm -hmm. and infects you with it. Mm -hmm. But it is not a contagious disease. Mm -hmm. You cannot get it because I get it. And I'm sitting close to you. No. Or I touch you or, or kiss you or, or stay in the same room with you. Mm. No. It's not transmitted in that way. Okay. It must have to be carried by uh, the mosquito from my blood to your body and into your blood system. That's the only way you can get it. You know, growing up, what um, the kind of perception we have about, you know, mosquitoes is don't keep stagnant water around where I'm any, to that. any area that you see water. So how come, <laughs> because Sokoto to me, I feel Sokoto is a dry, you know, place that uh, water, you know, rain off don't really fall as often as it does in some areas, you know, as we have like in River State, uh, have uh, in uh, Bayelsa and all of that. So why, what really, why Sokoto? If you notice, this is one of the seasons for mosquito. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, mosquito breed, mosquitoes breed very well during two uh, seasons of the year. When it is rainy season, because there's plenty of water, stagnant water everywhere. Mm -hmm. And some, sometimes too during this time, when it is cold in the night. Mm -hmm. It is cool in the night. So, and they like uh, good temperature. Not too hot and not too cold. 
That's why they do well. They, they, they multiply very well in tropical and subtropical uh, areas. areas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, like I said before, the good news is that this particular type of mosquito is not, uh, it's not everywhere. It's not common. It's not common. <laughs> there are not many. Mm -hmm. So that's good news. Um, if people are affected in Sokoto, maybe in a few local governments, it may not, it may not go around all the local governments in Sokoto. We hope not. And so it three may, local governments actually were yes, mentioned. Yes, so far. Mm. And it may not go to uh, either spread to other local governments or the nearby states. It might be limited to those areas. But the possibility of it going uh, around other local governments in Sokoto State and neighboring states is high. Because if it bites me, and I have it in my blood, and I go to uh, Kebi, which is next to us, and there's uh, Edis Egyptian mosquito, and bites me and carries it and bites somebody else, that person could get it. Okay, it has to be that species yes. of mosquito. It is the one but that carries... if another mosquito bites you no. and go, no. goes and bites another person, it no. won't affect the no. person no. at this all. this is the one that commonly carries it. Carries it. Yeah. So, you, you know, mosquito is something you really cannot predict. Uh, you know, you really cannot predict the That's movement. why I say we are coming to that. Yeah. That's so the how can we prevent it? Exactly. This is the issue. This is mm. where we should talk about. <laughs> um, whatever you do normally to prevent mosquitoes mm. is what you should be doing. One, make sure that your, your surrounding, your rooms, uh, in the first place, pro um, protected with screens so that mosquitoes cannot enter the room easily. Mm. Keep your doors closed. Light your, air, your, your room and your, the place where you stay in the evening. Mm. If you notice mosquitoes don't like light, if they want to bite, they would normally hide under the table. Somewhere when it, where it is a little bit dark, when it is bright like it is now in the studio, you will not see any mosquito. And even if you see, it's not looking for you. It might bite you by chance, but it's not looking for you. But when you dim the light a little bit, give it a chance to hide somewhere, it will, it will look for you. And they smell too. They smell people's uh, sweat, so okay. they may come to bite. So... People in Sokoto, for example, right now, mm. especially in those uh, local governments and the surrounding local governments, mm. should do everything to get rid of mosquito. One, they should uh, use mos mosquito uh, nets while sleeping. They, they should use insecticide to spray their rooms and their surroundings. They should look for any stagnant water and pour either engine oil, whatever type of uh, oil that will prevent the, the larvae, mm. the eggs of the mosquito to try to, to produce more mm. mosquitoes. Uh, they should dress and cover their bodies so that they are not exposed to mosquitoes at night. Um, if they have... Uh, okay, now, they should also be drinking plenty of water because the weather is hot there at this time of the year. Mm. So that in the event that they are beaten by the mosquito and infected by the virus and the fever starts. Drinking water is a way of one, cooling the body, two, replacing the fluid that the person will be uh, losing. Then improving their immunity to this infection. Vitamin C is a very good uh, source of immunity to, to this particular dengue fever mm. that we are talking about. They should eat plenty purple, plenty guava, plenty mangoes, plenty oranges, uh, bell pepper. Those, those things contain a lot of uh, vitamin C. Mm. And uh, they help to, to build immunity against uh, dengue virus. Now in your or the virus that causes dengue fever. Okay. In your opinion, what strategies should the authorities in the in this area, talking about Sokotona, because this is the only state we have this uh, virus. In your in your opinion, what strategies should the authorities there take to prevent uh, this disease from spreading further? Because there are indications that it, it can also yeah. be yeah. You know, higher than the, the yeah. number. Number one is um, uh, public awareness. They should create public awareness. What it what it is. Mm -hmm how it should be uh, prevented, how they will know that this is dengue fever. You know, in our environment here, we have all kinds of fever caused by malaria, caused by uh, 
pneumonia, caused by this, caused by that. So if you have fever, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is dengue fever. But if you are in Sokoto right now, especially in those three local governments, mm -hmm. and you have fever, you are a suspect <laughs> until it is ruled out. So they should carry out uh, health education in all their health facilities. They should do what we call social mobilization. They should pass the information around in English, in any lo local language that the people speak, in a way that they will understand. They should tell the people to make sure that they do everything they can do to prevent mosquito bite and declare mosquitoes as their greatest enemy at this point in time. Mm. So any mosquito you see, whether it is big or small, kill. Kill the mosquito. <laughs> Yes, because it's your enemy. You don't have a way of knowing if this is the Aedes aegypti mosquito. You, you all you know is mosquito. And there's, and there's no way you would say because uh, this one doesn't look like. You don't know. So mosquitoes are your enemy at this point in time. So they should do everything to prevent mosquitoes coming in contact with human beings. And then they should educate people that if they have any signs of fever, Signs of uh, bleeding through the gum, through the ears, rashes, joint pain, muscle aches, nausea, they should report immediately to the nearest health facility. Like I said, the good things, the thing about, uh, well, good because uh, it's relatively good, is that you cannot pass it from one person to the other if not through the mosquito. The mosquito is the vector. So people should know that this type of thing is going on, that this type of fever is occurring, and when they have any symptom that I have described, muscle aches, joint pain, fever, nausea, vomiting, sweating, bleeding through the ears, through the skin, through the gum, they should report. And if you are brushing your teeth in the morning, and you notice that blood is coming out, which doesn't normally uh, happen, you know already that mm -hmm. you are likely carrying the virus. Mm -hmm. So report to the nearest health facility. Mm -hmm. And again, another good thing about uh, dengue fever is that uh, it can be treated at home. It's not every case that would have to end up in hospital, but you should know what to do. Okay, so... I was about coming to that. Yes. If you have somebody at home, for instance, that um, you know starts developing these kinds of symptoms and all of that, and probably you're not too close to a hospital or don't have access to you know a health center, what do you do? Yeah, there are things you should do. Number one, mm -hmm. do those things that will encourage you to overcome the infection. Like what? Number one, you drink plenty of water. Plenty. Always be drinking water. Mm -hmm. Eat fruits that have plenty of vitamin C. Purple. Guava. Uh, bell pepper. It's a vegetable. It, it has um, uh, a lot of vitamin C. Mangoes. Get any mango that you see and eat. Those things contain a lot of vitamin C. And they will help you to overcome the, the, um, the infection. Then, apart from doing those things to prevent, you should, do as, you should try as much as possible to go to a health center and make sure that you are checked. That you have fever or have some of these symptoms don't necessarily, it's not a confirmation, it's only a suspicion. The way you confirm is to do a lab test in the hospital. That's how you would, you would do confirmation. You recall that when you have malaria, Sometimes you wake up in the morning, every play, every part of your body is looking like somebody beat you and you're not looking, you're not feeling too well. So that you have muscle pains that don't necessarily mean that you have dengue fever. But if the muscle pains are very serious and you feel like you're having cramps, yes, that's a good sign. You have pains in your joints. The fever is relentless, it's going spiral up like I said okay then the things not to eat if you have any of these symptoms should not take alcohol fortunately most people in uh, in Sokoto don't drink alcohol anyway okay. that's the Muslims 
Yeah, most most people they don't take alcohol. alcohol. Okay. Some people do secretly, mm -hmm. but most people don't. You should not take alcohol. Mm -hmm. you should not eat spicy foods. Mm -hmm. you should not eat plenty of fried foods or fatty foods. Um, uh, you should not take aspirin. Aspirin? No. If you have dengue fever and you take aspirin, your, your chances of bleeding it's will high. increase. Okay. And you will come down with very severe case. Mm. Let me explain again. Mm. Even though I said that dengue, dengue fever is um, self-limiting, meaning that with minor treatment it will go mm. in about five to seven days. When it becomes serious, it can be really serious. Patient will bleed. Patient can go into a shock. Because of the high fever, the patient will be, losing, will be sweating a lot and losing a lot of fluids. And the, 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 the fluid that the patient is losing must be replaced as adequately as possible. How? By drinking plenty of water. If need be, by giving intravenous um, fluid. Well, you know, something that kind of surprised me is the fact that you mentioned that it's, uh, you know, treatable. But yes. um, I've seen, you know, there's somewhere that it's not really treatable, but it's preventable. So I don't know how to really uh, relate this. Yes, you can say it is treatable. Mm -hmm. Generally, viruses are difficult to, uh, to classify as being treatable diseases because there are not too many drugs that kill virus. Okay. If you take antibiotics, antibiotics mean against bacteria. That's the meaning of antibiotic. Okay. Anti against mm -hmm. biotic bacteria. So if you take antibiotics for dengue fever, for example, it will not cure it. And you don't need antibiotics except, except if you have some infection because of the rashes that you, you get from the disease. The, the antibiotics will be to prevent infection from the rashes that you have, but not to treat or to kill the virus that is causing the problem. Some people make me mistake of thinking that, ah, if I take antibiotic, it will kill. No, antibiotics are not for this. And you must not take aspirin. I'm, I'm emphasizing on this because there are lots of patients um, who are advised to take Aspirin once in a while, especially the elders, uh, and they keep aspirin in their houses. If you have dengue fever, don't take aspirin. It will in increase your, your chances of bleeding. Mm -hmm. Now, patients that have asthma, patients that have diabetes, mm -hmm. patients that have sickle cell anemia, those three in particular have to be very, very careful. If they have dengue fever, their chances of uh, um, uh, getting worse in a very short time and even dying is very high, higher than the ordinary people. So if I were in Sokoto now and I have diabetes or I have asthma or I have sickle cell anemia, any of these three in particular, I would be very careful. I would do everything I can to prevent mosquitoes coming around me. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for that uh, uh, insightful <laughs> information My there pleasure. and that's it on nigeria today we'll say a very big thank you to dr isaac Iwoja, a public health specialist thank you so much for your time and your contribution for that information there it was My really, pleasure. really eye opening My pleasure. and thank you for being part of the program don't forget nigeria today is weekday at 7 30 p.m on nta news 24. you can also uh, check out this episode and other episodes on www.youtube.com slash NTA News 24 Hub. Once again, thank you for watching. I am Ikeria Clinton. See you tomorrow. <laughs>